There is a hidden interconnectedness of the planets, beyond the gravity that physically binds them together. You see, the planets are family. Welcome to Wondersleep. According to Greek and Roman mythology, Earth was the mother of Uranus, the king of the gods. And Uranus had a son, Saturn, but Saturn castrated his father and threw the gentles into the sea from which Venus was born. With Saturn now in charge, it was prophesied that his own child would overthrow him, so he devoured his own children, including Neptune. But when Jupiter was born, he was hidden away by his mother before Saturn could eat him. Instead of Jupiter, she gave Saturn a rock in swaddling clothes, which he promptly swallowed. Jupiter grew up on Crete and returned to cut open Saturn's stomach. With his now freed siblings, he defeated Saturn, and Jupiter had many of his own children, including Mercury and Mars. There is something gripping about Saturn devouring his children. Infanticide is horrific and macabre, yet this myth has been depicted many times in art. Like Saturn devouring his son by Peter Paul Rubens, note the three stars above Saturn depicting the planet with the same name. This is because Rubens painted it in 1636. When Galileo had gazed at Saturn through the telescope, he mistook the rings for two accompanying stars. He thought they were maybe handles or large moons on either side of the planet. Maybe no depiction is as gruesome as the one by Francisco Goya. A crazed Saturn stares back from the dark hunched over, fingers dug into his child's skin, wide-eyed in mid-bite. This is also called Saturn devouring his son, but Goya painted it in secrecy and directly onto the walls of his own house. He painted 14 masterpieces in total, all around his house. Goya didn't name any of the paintings himself. In a way, they didn't need a name, only being for himself. Collectively, we call them the black paintings. The themes and styles are dark, gory and pessimistic. Goya had become deaf and the social and political landscape of early 19th century Spain was bleak. Goya shows us humanity as he sees it. Maybe as it is, bright colours, clothes and nicety pulled back. These paintings are beautiful in their own way and fragile and transient, already damaged to a point beyond return, swallowed up by time as Saturn swallowed up his own children. A binary star system is one with two stars like the one in the constellation of Cassiopeia. These two stars have a markedly different chemical composition, and one of the stars was named after Saturn in 2017 when it was hypothesized that its rich metallic composition compared to the other star was because it had swallowed its own planets, like Saturn swallowing his children. And the rocket that helped carry a man first to the moon was called a Saturn rocket. It came after the Jupiter series of rockets and Von Braun insisted on this name given that Saturn was the next planet after Jupiter. I wonder what we'll call the rocket that will carry us to the moons of Saturn, like Enceladus. NASA describes Enceladus as the most habitable spot beyond Earth in the solar system life as we know it, or the rocket that will carry us to Titan, another of Saturn's moons. It's a place with lakes and rain, but not made of water like here on Earth. 
They are made of hydrocarbons like methane and ethane. We already have a photo from the surface of Titan and evidence that there are tides in these great lakes. Listen closely. You might be able to hear the waves lap against the shore as the moon dances around Saturn. <laughs> 